Good day, dear students. Welcome to Chapter Six, Polynomials. In this chapter, we mainly have three subtopics, which is six point one, polynomials, six point two, remainder theorem, factor theorem, and zeros of polynomials, six point three, partial fractions. In this video, we will be focusing on the subtopic six point one, polynomials. The learning outcomes in six point one is Perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication of polynomials. The second learning outcome is perform division of polynomials. Our next subtopic is division. Okay, in the division of integer eleven over two can be written as five plus one over two. So we get this from long division. So five times two is ten. So we can write this as five one over two, or which is equivalent to five plus one over two. Now the quotient is five, the remainder is one, and the divisor is two. So this is very important. So the five here is known as quotient, and the one here is known as remainder. And the two here is known as divisor. Okay, the statement could be expressed as eleven equals to five times two plus one, or in another word, divisor multiply quotient plus the remainder. In the same way, the division of a polynomial can be expressed in the form of p x divided by d x is equal to q x plus r x divided by d x or p x equals to d x times q x plus r x. Remember, students, q x is your quotient, r x is your remainder, d x is your divisor. Of course, p x is your polynomial. Okay, I hope you can understand these notes. Okay, students, to understand division, let's look at example four. Find the quotient and remainder for two x cubed minus x square plus one divided by x plus one. So they have given us p x, which is the polynomial, and d x, which is the divisor. They are asking us to find the quotient and the remainder. So to find quotient and the remainder, we need to use long division. So we're gonna write. Two x cube minus x square. Since there is no x, we need to write this as zero x plus one. Divide by divisor, which is x plus one. Okay, so we're gonna use long division to be able to find quotient and the remainder. First, how we're gonna do this? We're gonna think what multiplies x plus one, so that we get two x. Cube. So we want to get two x cube, and we're gonna think what multiplies x plus one gives us two x cube. So that would be two x square. So when two x square multiplies x, we will be getting two x cube, and when two x square multiplies one, we will be getting two x square. So the term that I'm going to write down in my box here will be two. X square, and when I multiply with x plus one, I will be getting two x cube plus two x square. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna minus. So two x cube minus two x cube will be giving us zero. Negative x square minus positive two x square will be giving us negative three x square. Plus zero x plus one. So for the next term, we have to think what we're gonna write here, such that when this term multiplies x plus one, I will should be getting negative three x square. So what multiplies x plus one gives us negative three x square. Of course, the answer is negative. 3x. So negative 3x multiplies x will be giving us negative 3x square followed by negative 3x. So the term that I'm going to write here in the box is negative 3x. 
And the answer is negative 3x squared minus 3x. And we're going to minus this. So what happens when I minus? Negative 3x squared minus negative 3x squared will be giving us 0. 0x minus negative 3x will be giving us 3x plus 1. Now, the next we're going to think what I'm going to write on my box here such that when I multiply with x plus 1, I will be getting 3x plus 1. So, what multiplies x plus 1 will be giving us 3x. So, we will be focusing on the first term. So, this will be 3. And the answer will be 3x plus 3. Which means the term that I am going to write here is positive 3 multiply x plus 1. We will be getting 3x plus 3. And when we minus 3x minus 3x is 0. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now to answer the question. So what is the caution? The so caution is the person on top here which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 3 and how about the remainder so the remainder is at the bottom here which is negative 2 so to be able to find caution and the remainder we need to use long division ok students can you understand division of polynomials ok now let's look at example 5 dy x cubed plus 2x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 3. So first we're going to write down our polynomial which is x cubed plus 2x square minus x plus 1. We're going to divide by x plus 3. So we're going to focus with the first term. So we're going to think what I'm going to write here such that when I multiply with x plus 3, I will be getting x cubed. So, what multiplies x plus 3 will be giving us x cubed. Because the answer is x squared. So, x squared times x will be giving us x cubed. And x squared times 3 will be giving us 3x squared. So, the person that we are going to write in the box would be x squared. And when x squared times with x plus 3 we will be getting x cubed plus 3x square. And we need to minus this. So, x cubed minus x cubed, we will be getting 0. And 2 minus 3x square, we will be getting negative x square. Followed by, we are going to bring down the negative x plus 1. So, we are going to bring this down negative x plus 1. Next, we are going to think what multiplies x plus 3 that will give us negative x square. So, what multiplies x plus 3 will be giving us negative x square. Of course, the answer is negative x. So, negative x times x, we will be getting negative x square followed by negative 3x. So, next, we're going to write in the box negative x. And the answer is negative x squared minus 3x. And we need to minus this. So, negative x squared neg minus negative x squared, we will be getting 0. And negative x minus negative 3x. Negative, negative, positive 3x minus x will be giving us 2x plus 1. Next, we're going to think what multiplies x plus 3 will give us 2x. Of course, the answer is positive 2 and we will be getting 2x plus 6. So, when we minus this, we will be getting negative 5. Okay, students. So, this is what happens when we divide x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 1 by x plus 3. Once you find your answer, please make sure you can identify your quotient, your polynomial, your divisor and your remainder. 
there are two ways of writing our answer. One is the standard form. Px dy by dx equals to qx plus rx dy by dx. In our case, px is x cube plus 2x square minus x. So we're going to write x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 1 divide by dx. So our dx is x plus 3. So this equals to qx. So qx is x square minus x plus 2 plus rx divided by dx. rx is negative 5 and the divider, divisor is x plus 3. So this is one way of writing your answer. We say this is the standard form of the division of polynomial. Now another way of writing your answer is px equals to qx multiply dx plus rx. So in our case px is x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 1 equals to qx x square minus x plus 2 multiply dx dx is our divisor plus rx rx is our remainder negative 5 now this is the second way of writing down your answer for division hey students can you understand example 5 so i hope you can understand example 5 maybe you would like to try example 6 on your own now these are the exercises that we have for division Okay, students, I hope you have achieved our first learning outcome from our first subtopic, which is polynomials. I hope that all of you are able to divide polynomials. That's all for today. Thank you, students.